In the last video, we took a look at networking and we talked about how the internet works and how the movement of data works from local ISPs, mobile carriers and various devices and how they move through web servers and all the way to database servers and ultimately to storage devices. In this video, we're gonna talk about the main protocol that facilitates all of this, and that is TCP. That's what allows communication between all of these devices. And really what we should have now is another arrow going back and forth between these devices, because really they're talking to each other. And again, what is the main protocol that accomplishes that? It is TCP. So that is why we're gonna talk about this very early TCP is fundamental to understanding networking. So what we're going to do in this lecture is break down that relationship between computers. So we're going to talk about that back and forth communication that goes on. And so again, the main protocol that handles all of this is TCP. It is what is used by applications to communicate to each other over an IP network. So almost every application uses TCP internet, email, FTP, SQL. And so I've created this diagram, hopefully, that will explain how this relationship works between two devices. So here we have a computer A, and here we have a computer B. We're gonna assume this is the requesting host, so there's some sort of application on here. Let's just assume it's a web browser and it's communicating over to this web server, which will respond to it. And again, it is TCP that accomplishes that. Now, before anything can take place between these two computers, you must establish a three-way handshake. That is fundamental to creating a TCP session, which is where it all starts. So the first packet that is sent is called the SYN packet. So this would be the requesting host and this would be the receiving host. So the requesting host would send this packet and it would be identified by this SYN right here. The receiving host would then respond back with a SYN ACK packet right here which is basically an acknowledgement of this first packet. It's basically saying, hey, yeah, I did receive it, and that is sent back to the requesting host. And then a third packet is sent from the requesting host back to the receiving host, basically saying, hey, I just received the second packet. And that is called the three-way handshake. And once that is established, then communications can take place between the two hosts. And so that is what is illustrated right here. These would be all the packets going back and forth for whatever is needed. So this could be you know, 30 packets, it could be 10,000 packets, it could be a million packets. And the duration could last anywhere from a few minutes to two hours. I've even seen it last longer than a day. In theory, it could be indefinite. Now, once whatever work needed to be done is finished, a finished packet must be sent. And in this case, the requesting host sends a finished packet to the receiving host, and then the receiving host fires back an acknowledgement, which is a fin ACK, and that is sent back to the requesting host, and then the session as a whole is terminated. So this all constitutes one TCP session. This is the basic building block of networking right here. So again, you have the three-way handshake, that must be completed first, and then you have whatever packets need to be sent to complete the work, whatever is being done, and then finished packets are sent to end the session. And so a lot of other protocols use TCP. So HTTP, that's probably the one you're most familiar with, uses TCP. So when you get on your browser and you type in that HTTP address, a TCP session will be created, whatever type of web server you are connecting to. It uses this TCP session. So that's a good start to understanding TCP. Now what we're gonna do in the next video is we're actually gonna break down a TCP session using Wireshark. So you're actually gonna see how this looks on a network. So again, we'll talk about that in the next video. Thank you.